So Cots, firstly, congratulations on your uh, new three-year deal. Um, how does it feel to be leading the Nord Footy Club for the next three years? Oh, really exciting. Obviously, when I came came on board, I had a, a plan. Um, obviously, in the second year, we've, we've started to play some really good footy and really excited about the, the weeks coming up. But in regards to the next three years, again, it's just a fantastic club to be part of. And it's a very humbling experience to be the senior coach of the Nord Footy Club. And there's great people here. And, uh, the playing group are uh, fantastic as well. So for me, it's just a fantastic opportunity and I really look forward to it. Cots, you arrived at the club uh, for the 2017 season. Um, how have you enjoyed your time thus far as we embark on the 2018 final series? Yeah, obviously coaching is a, is, is a really big challenge. Um, but like I said before, when I started um, in 2017, I thought we, had, we made some really good improvements over that year and got back to playing finals football. And this year, again, it's all about improving. And I thought we've done that um, really well in in both grades, but also through the junior grades as well. So we've had a really solid year as a football club and we just want to make sure we continue to improve and if we can do that, it's a, an exciting place to be. We've had a fantastic year in the minor rounds, finishing top uh, at reserve and league level. Um, we obviously know footy, uh, finals footy is another level. Um, what are you looking forward to most? Oh, without doubt. So yeah, the minor round is the minor round and you need to do what you need to do there to put yourself in the best position you can. And, and, and we've done that, we get the week off, but now it starts again. So the finals are a new season and. The players are fully aware of that and they're really focused on making sure that we're fully prepared to, to play whoever we do in the second semi-final and make sure we, um, we lift our, ourselves to, to new levels. Uh, speaking of finals footy, uh, the boys have the week off now in preparation for next week. Um, how's training been so far and uh, how's, uh, can you give us an update on both Michael Talia and Matty Panos? Yeah, without doubt. So early in the week was more recovery, uh, just getting ourselves um, feeling as good as we possibly can. Trained really well last night and we'll have a real Solid session tomorrow morning, um, and then the boys will obviously go and watch the game on Sunday to see who we're playing in the second semi, and then next week we really focus on that opposition and, and making sure we're ready to go. And uh, in, uh, in regards to injuries, um, Tiles hopefully should be able to train tomorrow. Um, if he gets through tomorrow's training session and trains well next week, he'll put himself in the mix to come back. Uh, Matty Panos is travelling well, so he should be fine. Um, and apart from that, we've got a couple of reserves boys, um, Isaac Houston and Brody Carroll. Hopefully that should be okay too. Uh, the Eagles and Sturt playoff on Sunday. Um, what are you expecting from both sides? Should be a great match. Oh, without doubt, they've had some really good finals games over the last few years. Um, obviously, Sturt have got a few injuries, which would be a good test for them. But um, they're always a fantastic team in finals for you. So it'll be a great game. Looking forward to going down and having a look and, and seeing who we're going to play in the second semi. Uh, obviously, Cots, our reserves have the week off. Uh, 18s play tomorrow. How good is it as the coach to, to have all three levels playing in September? Oh, it's really exciting. So obviously, as a footy club, especially at senior level, if you've got the reserves playing in the finals, it really is a, a great help in regards to your tramp that you're training, but also players that are pushing the senior boys for selection. And also, you know, if you have an injury, you've got people that are actually playing playing football, not just training. So it's a it's a big win for the footy club if both grades are playing finals. And it's really exciting for the 18s. Obviously, they missed out in the finals last year, and Jimmy Allen's done a really good job this year. And um, I think they've got the team to definitely go a, a fair way into the finals. And Cots, lastly, next weekend, Adelaide Oval, 3.15. Um, we need our fans out in numbers because how important have they been um, throughout the year? Oh, massive. So they've been uh, down in Norlunga, down in Elizabeth. Our home game support's been fantastic. So again, I ask everyone to, to come out and support the group. The players love it when there's uh, the Red and Blue Army out there and lots of noise. So again, I ask you guys to, to come out and support. It should be a fantastic day. Cots, congratulations on the new deal and can't wait for next weekend. Thanks.